Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Benjamin Breaker Novotny and welcome to the show. As you can see, we are at the warm-up screen for uh, today's match. It's going to be between <clears throat> uh, Expendables and Signature CSGO. Based on all of the research and homework I've been doing on these two teams, um, sorry about that, hang on just a moment, I forgot to turn the game volume back on. But uh, based on the research that I've done on both of these teams tonight, um, you know, everything basically points in the direction of Signature CSGO. They should be basically, you know, favored to come out on top of this 2-1, uh, if not 2-0 in terms of map score. But we do have to give the benefit of the doubt to Expendables. After all, this is why competition exists. Right? And uh, by the way, later on this evening, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to be witnessing MoTV going up against <clears throat> MVP. I do apologize about that little hiccup. Sorry about that. So, uh, here we are. Gonna get things started off with a knife round. Dust 2 is a extremely, extremely slightly CT sided, uh, excuse me, T sided map at, with what I had checked earlier today, about 50.4% round victory rate going to the T side. So, less than 1% we're talking about in terms of T sidedness, but, um, that basically means that both sides should be aiming for 8 points at the first half. Nothing less than that, for sure. And if you guys are just now tuning in for the first time, or if you guys are interested in getting an M4A4 Battlestar skin, you guys may want to go ahead and type exclamation point raffle in chat, and then click on the bit.ly link that Nightbot will spit out at you guys. Otherwise, you could just click on the picture of the skin below the stream window, but enough about that. We're getting this match started and it looks as though we're gonna have five Kevlar's coming in from signature CSGO a pretty seldom seen scenario compared to um, some other plays if you will but we're gonna have three Kevlar vests and two utility men on expendables natural firepower advantage showing through already with disco scoring the first frag of the match of the evening very nice return frag coming in however from BNW gigs I think that was that was two headshots straight in a row there we go. Dan looking for another two in a row. Not bad. He's trying to get that third. And Arvino just happens to pop out at the right time to get Tor. And last man standing is going to be Giggs. Was Giggs, but he was taken down by Disco. I mean, like, this is essentially Expendables holding their ground and holding it well. Um, playing out the CT pistol round the way it, I guess you could say it should be. But... Adding just a little bit more to it, I'm not trying to downplay Signature CSGO by any means, but they had five Kevlar vests going in, no utilities whatsoever. So that just says to me that, you know, if they're not trying to win off of getting the bomb plant, they're simply trying to win by trading. And, um, just didn't quite happen. It's one of those things that doesn't really make too much sense. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just talking a bunch of fluff. I'm not saying something correctly, but that is a nice way to open things up. QQ God with double Juan Deegs. And that is going to pave the way for the bomb to be planted. Now, Giggs going to try and hold his teammates back. Disco Potato taking a few jumping shots with that TMP. Does find a melon. It belongs to QQ God. Johan coming in to reinforce his teammate. And that frag grenade does not quite make the kill that it needs, but, uh, this is a very difficult position to be in if you are Giggs. He's taken down immediately. Now we're going to be seeing Cigarettes trying to make his last stand happen, but he will be hunted down. 4K to Disco Potato, and a lot of money in the bank with that. So, Diffuse win. They should have enough time for this. Yeah, yeah, they got enough time for this for sure. Um, 4 MP9 kills. Times 600, 2400, plus the bomb defusal, 2700 to the pocket of Disco Potato, and 3500 on top of that. He's going to have a lot of money. Oh, boy. <sighs> Let's see where things go on this round. Um, so, Signature CSGO, I mean, they did get the bomb plant down, but of course, that was their anti-eco round. They lost... And, well, QQ God says, you know, I don't even need to be able to see and I can make a headshot. I mean, to be fair, he had to shoot through his teammate, but he got it. Nicely done. I mean, that's three frags at two rounds. Um, all headshots from Deagles. And uh, it's not, it's, it's a pretty seldom seen scenario, but 
He's managed to make it count towards his team for good effect. And, uh... At this point, Arvino, he's getting sneaky again up at mid. Gonna just take the head of Tor once again. I think this might be sending a message to, to Tor in some regards. He's, he's probably thinking to himself, okay, well, you know, maybe we need to think a little bit more about what we're doing on this side of the map and uh, try and counterplay what they're trying to do, especially if it's going to be a habitual play. Mm, Disco gonna get one to his name. He's taking another two HP. And Olivia, I mean, they're essentially both one shot. It's whoever, whoever can get the first shot off at that point. But, um, of course, the... The laws of Counter-Strike still apply here. That is to say, Expendables just have to hold their ground. They don't even have to move, and they could just win the round just like that. I mean, it's common sense, but, you know, Signature CSGO, they realize that they have to push into this. And they have to make a choice pretty soon as well. So Disco pushing forward will get taken down by a headshot. I'm sorry, uh, Giggs and Olivia do that, and they're both taken down by Disco Potato, rather. <clears throat> And Expendables have their bank building. For those of you who didn't know, Signature CSGO actually went to WCA and they came in fourth prize, losing to the Mongols, but uh, took home a pretty penny of about 1,000 US dollars. Of course, they also came uh, in third prize at the AZ, Asia Games recently. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to witness that tournament at all, but they took home a very nice, close to 10,000 US dollars. Um for getting third prize. All in all, it was a greatly done job by our TIE Titans. But now they're in the hot seat for this map. Looks like Giggs and Cigarette might potentially make some kind of a coordinated pop, excuse me, pop out here. Um, they have the utilities to at least try something. But uh, I do think there's a hazardous crossfire waiting for them in the form of Johan. I'm sorry, G. And uh, his teammate, Dan. They are creeping out. Giggs. Gonna make that opening frag. Or Vino, sorry, rather, makes the opening frag. And it's going to be G getting a double kill at pit. Nicely done. DQ God coming in and clearing off the A site, but he's got to deal with that guy in long. I mean, G is he's, he's holding his ground there. And now we are going to have Disco Potato trying to do something... To counteract this push. I mean, it's two versus three on paper, and the positioning is not in favor of Guy right now. But here we go. Molotov is tossed, and the moves are being made. One versus one. Olivia and QQ did what they had to do, and now Olivia's position is revealed. Nice flick, and finally we have the first round on the board for Signature CSGO. Okay, here we go. So at this particular moment in time, uh, we see Signature CSGO getting the first round on the board. You can see the follow-up buy is not amazing, unfortunately, because although they did they did get the bomb plant down, they didn't manage to get the bomb detonation. I mean, it's it's that's not the only reason why, but I mean, they just didn't have a lot of money left after last round's buy. Still a better position to be in, in the exp than the Expendables at this moment in time. Nicely done with Arvino. I mean, it was, it was a bit of a tag team there, but they did what they had to to get the frag. And uh, now Disco Potato has a UMP in hand. He may want to reconsider holding on to that, however. I'd probably give it to the closest 100 HP teammate in his position. A short. I mean, there's all kind of noise being made there. There's no reason for the counter terrorists to suspect it won't be A, but gigs and cigarettes. Giggs holding down the rear. He's finally been taken down by Disco Potato, so he'll be able to follow up with A short. Cigarettes is going to clear off A long. Costs him a lot in the way of HP, however. And now it's going to be three versus one. Disco Potato has uh, a very tall order to fill, but it looks like he's just going to try and back off with the UMP in hands. He says, you know what? Let's not bite off more than we can chew. Safe decision to make. And... Adding maybe 1900 to this, you know, I can see something of a, a decent buy coming out next round for Expendables. Every player on the team should have enough money for at least an M4, 
and uh, a full armor vest. But of course, there will be variations. It won't be it won't be just you know straight up Kevlar and M4. It's the, no no no. Like, come on. Each player's got their own style, and of course, they they have to have some utilities on. The what on earth, Disco? <laughs> okay. I just I. Well, he blows my mind. If it's not the 4Ks with the MP9, it's uh, most certainly the 3Ks at 7 HP with the uh, UMP in hand. And it looks like he's not going to be making that purchase. Um, so he'll have just a little bit more money, but here we have it. Uh, decent utilities. Everyone has an M4 and at least armor. No helmets on RB and Gi as well as Disco Potato. But uh, it's not necessarily their loss. Cigarettes gets the opening frag of the round this time, and it was a nice headshot onto Guy. However, at A short, that's where the real action is happening, and we're going to be seeing the push forward coming in from QQ God after he eats quite a bunch of damage. I love this move by Tor to hang back and uh, make the defense, or rather, the just catching the rotators. Arvino is going to get... It's first frag of the round, and it's now one versus three. Very, I mean, some of these guys are close to one shot on signature CSGO side, so um, you can't really fault him for trying, but at the same time, Olivia is right around the corner with an AWP. Alright, let's see where things go from this very moment in time. Expendables, I mean, they, they essentially lost their rifle round. Now they're on something of a soft eco. Uh, bit of a quasi by coming out of Disco Potato, but they're getting eaten alive. And this round, well, done in 30 seconds, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, Sinister CSGO, they do take this one to the bank. And this is where the ball starts to roll for our Titans from uh, Thailand. If Expendables can't, you know, stop this round or at least get a lot of damage done, then this is just going to be, you know, um, an economic superpower coming out of Thailand in the form of a CSGO team. So right now we have a play from mid coming in from Signature CSGO. Not necessarily a full-blown push, but they do get the pick off of Disco, so nicely done. Uh, blind fire through smoke looks like we'll get just a little bit of damage done to gigs, but not too terribly much and friendly fire as well um, Just uh, I would I would hate to be in that position But that was a nice pull out because bomb site B is clear as Arvino pokes, pokes forward to try and Take back mid he realizes there's only one player so now he's going to just creep back towards uh, the bomb site and he'll see Not much to his delight the four terrorists that are now in and Tor he gets one he's taken quite a chunk of damage as well but Olivia is going to be burning Arvino and now it's two versus four maybe RV should consider saving his weapon yeah Dan was just taken down in tunnels by QQ God so I mean really we see nothing but solid play and that's gonna be QQ God getting his double kill off of this one five rounds in a row from signature CSGO This was, uh, this has been very solid play coming in from them. Upgraded pistols for the most part coming from expendables on this round. And, uh, with that being said, they do have some utilities. So they've got very little wiggle room, but something to work with. And that's going to be cigarettes taking down Gi. They're pushing up A long now. And, uh, it looks like the smoke is going to be plain placed somewhere around a but that's gonna be QQ God getting another frag to his name while gigs push pushes forward Tor catching the rotators I mean how do I say this I like I like this decision really just two is perhaps one of the most frequently played maps it's of course uh, bread and butter map when you're playing solo queue if you're queuing up on your own to find a match made game then you're talking about essentially accepting that maybe there's an 80 percent chance that you're going to be playing on dust 2 if you're of course playing on the active duty map set with mirage and um 
Mirage and Cash and such and everything else in between. But Signature CSGO are uh, abusing the fact that they are now on what is potentially speaking one of the only T-sided maps. I'm sorry, and not, not abusing it, but really taking advantage of it. And they're using it quite well is what I mean to say, rather. Um... Somehow in all of this, cigarettes got taken down to 18 HP. But Tort, there it is. Finds it again. Very nicely done with the AWP. Um, I'm a little bit... Well, refragged. Uh, sorry, I was just going to remark that I'm a little bit uh, surprised that this double AWP setup has been working for them this well. But it's been traded one for one in Bombsite B, and now the bomb is going to be planted with a three on three. Viable retake incoming from Expendables now. The clock is ticking now the bomb is planted. They've got to do something. That'll be RB taking one down from window. He's now going to backpedal just a little bit, trying to stay alive. He's looking for a second, but if he, you know, the timing, he just kind of missed it a little bit. But now we're going to be seeing Dan pushing in. He's going to find the doorman, and now it's all on Olivia, playing it like Stewie 2K, but shot through smoke. It'll be Gee shutting him down, and Expendables managed to put another round on the board for themselves. Sorry, pressing, pressing issues on my cell phone, guys. I I don't like to play with my cell phone, but I mean, I have to right now, basically. I, I don't explain it, but um, I know you guys can hear it, and I apologize. So, four AK-47s and an AWP coming out from Signature this time around. Um, perhaps not so much due to economy right now, because Tor has more than enough to purchase an AWP, should he have chosen to. But rather, um, tactics. Nice flick coming in from Olivia. And uh, Disco is probably... Feeling, just looking back in hindsight and saying, you know what, I probably shouldn't have done that. But with that being said, he does give a little bit of info to his to the four of his five remaining teammates. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And Arvino does manage to get a refrag off of this. Like, this is one of the things, this is the highlight of this map, I think, coming from Expendables. One of their sneaky tactics that's been working out for them consistently is how Arvino goes in through lower tunnels there and uh, gets that one frag every round. So he's doing quite well in that regard. And... Is he doing it again? Yes, he is. So now it's three versus four. It was once in this round. It was five versus four at one point. Now it's three versus five. And they're going for it on A short. The jig's up. They have to do something. And they're going to try. We see a missed flick coming in there. But the follow-up firepower coming from Giggs does actually make more than make up for it. So Olivia is forgiven in that regard. It's now going to be QQ God getting Arvino off of their rear, and now QQ God avenging his fallen teammate. He's the last man standing in a 1v1. Can he get the triple kill? RB all in his lonesome. But he holds his ground. An expensive win for the CT side, so mm, you could say there's something to rejoice with with the uh, pickup on that AWP. But overall, when you're, I mean, we have to, we have to basically face it. When you lose four players on CT side, it's basically a more expensive loss to you than it is for CT side. Uh, flick will impact nothing, but it's quite commemorable of Olivia to try. Because if you don't try, you never know. But that is a very big B rush going in. Tor gets one, and before he is traded, and we're going to be having, it looks like... Dan? Was that Dan? No, Disco Potato actually backpedaling towards uh, Double Doors at B. He's going to be reinforced by RB and through tunnels it's going to be Guy and Dan. Hot player shut down and now this might be a viable retake. They are pushing through. Dan nicely done. He's going to have to catch Giggs on the box here. He's going to have to... There it is. He saw the barrel, didn't he? No, he didn't. And that's going to be Giggs getting one, but he's taken down traded and that will be this round going to expendables correct yes so overall i mean this is actually turning out to be quite neck and neck i came into this match only knowing that uh expendables is the one of the best teams in the philippines obviously but uh not much more than that and i can see that some rounds look solid for them, some of them, others, 
other rounds, what I mean to say is uh, depend, I wouldn't say heavily, but depend on that occasional um, out of place or out of position play that uh, Arvino makes, if you will, for example. Maybe, I think that was two rounds ago. I think it was round 11 that he made that play. We're going to see at least a poke coming in from uh, these three at A long. That'll be cigarettes, of course, accompanied by Olivia. And uh, if I'm looking at this correctly, the bomb carrier is QQ God. Potato does manage to get one frag, but traded immediately. Back to three versus three. HP advantage is there for signature CSGO, however, and... They might want to work on this quickly because Arvino, well, you know, I would like to play the Mission Impossible theme song right now, but uh, he's waiting for them to actually make a definitive push. But it looks like we've got some counter Mission Impossible tactics here, and that's Tor missing the shots and Gee punishing him for it. That, that, it in some ways, it just shouldn't have happened, but um, it, it did. And now there was a trade in the background, however, so it didn't come out to be totally for free. But uh, this is going to depend heavily on either A, the hold here from RB, or put the counter push coming in from Arvino. But we don't even need to talk about that since RB did manage to get a double kill. Frags-wise, things are looking really spread on uh, the signature CSGO side of things. Top fragger at 16, 10 frags above the bottom fragger. And uh, for expendables, it's 15 to 7, so discrepancy of about 8 kills all the way across the board. And Signature CSGO, they've got a buy round on this, but, you know, they are missing, in some ways, what you would call the essentials on terrorist side. However, it's better than going in with just upgraded pistols, right? Pretty big A-long push coming in here. Four-man stack onto that with uh, Tor going up a short. Arvino's not going to catch anything here, at least for the moment. He could probably catch Tor there, but no, nah, that's, that's not happening already. The first frag is coming in from Olivia. Fire through the smoke, and that is just signature CSGO staying calm, aiming, and pushing through. And Arvino will, in fact, find Tor, but he's immediately refragged by Olivia. Seven seven. Um, basically, this is. I don't want to call it beautiful Counter-Strike, but I do want to say that this is essentially how I said the first half should look at the end of it all. Um, one team should have seven rounds while the other team has eight. And Olivia, I believe, did just see two players going towards bombsite B. And, ah, oh, that hesitation coming in. Uh, you know, if I read that right, Arby, did, did he have an AWP just now? I saw him zoomed in. He just didn't have anything happen there, and that's, hmm, Disco Potato, one versus three. Well, well, there's a will, there's a way. And that might just be the beginning of the way, but if he's going to go short, it's already being pre-aimed by Olivia. And there's even a Molotov there to stop Potato, should he actually want that. Alright, so this is basically how it should end. Um, more or less, technically speaking, when you're talking about a map that is at least 1% favored for uh, terrorist side, they basically did their job by getting to 8 rounds by the end of the first half. But um, I do want to say, the way the first half looked out, there was a big winning streak coming in from... Uh, how do I say this? From Signature CSGO after they had lost the first three initial rounds. But... Uh, then we saw, I think, a bit of a winning streak coming back from, uh, sorry, Expendables. And then it seemed like minor win, uh, minor round trades here and there. But Expendables are going in a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say sneaky, but reluctant at this point. Disco gets one frag. He's going to continue pushing forward here. It is paramount that he gets a second. We're just going to have QQ God staying calm and aiming, but wasn't able to tap out his enemy there we see a trade at a long and it's still in favor of expendables because of course they got first blood is that going to be the trend here as well oh boy arvino's on site his teammates can plant it if they want it but friendly fire you know <laughs> cigarettes coming in from a long if i read that correctly indeed one versus two if there's anyone on the team who could do it it would probably be him He's got one. He's looking for that second. He's been tapped to the head. Both players could be, you know, potentially one shot if the bullets land on the head. 
12 remain, 11, 8 on that Glock, and Dan steals the deal for his team. So Expendables take not one, but two pistol rounds on Dust2. I think we'll find out very shortly whether or not uh, this was what they needed to put them in, but to put to put, to put, to put, to put themselves in the position uh, to take map number one. I feel like um, of the 16 rounds that we've seen so far, a lot of them have been shorter than they needed to be. What I mean to say is uh, both sides are somewhat, I wouldn't say lacking, but they, they don't seem to really exercise restraint. I don't mean to say restraint, they shouldn't fire, but I mean more or less, you know, patience. They, they've got, you know, full one minute and 40 seconds to work with in a round, so why not use all one minute? And 40 seconds, but it's gonna be Disco making the opening frag. Giggs looking for a head. We'll find one. Very nicely done. Plant is coming in now from Gee. Arvino and company gonna hold a short while cigarettes. I mean, uh, you know, I think a CZ would perhaps be the worst ideal weapon to have in the location that he's at right now. I think perhaps maybe the only thing that would be worse is maybe a Tech-9 in terms of accuracy, but cigarettes, he's got nothing to hold on to um, besides that CZ. So does he really want to save this for the end of the round? He's running now as fast as he can at mid. Let's go to his TV. Oh, boy. Oh, does find one. Makes this a little bit more expensive for the T side. Now backpedaling. Whew. He spotted, though. He gets another two, and ah, oh, he was taken down. But um, at least he got enough. At least he got enough to make this. Uh, I'm sorry, enough exit frags there to make this um, almost profitless for uh, Expendables. What I mean to say is, of course, you're talking about uh, if you if you get three frags onto the terrorist side, then wait, hold that thought. Oh boy, here it comes. It's going to be Olivia getting the opening frag, and then. QQ God is taken down before he has a chance to Juan Deeg anybody, but it's going to be Gi and the rest of the team just clearing out a long. So that, that bomb site basically belongs to the terrorists right now. Four versus two, however, and uh, I'd say probably the only one in terrorist side that's in a difficult position or a remotely close to difficult position would probably be RB. Almost potentially in a position where he could have been flanked, but... Um, This round is now on a fuse, and I imagine what the signature roster is going to do is perhaps just get a few more exit frags. I mean, the retake is a long shot, especially especially now that they're moving off of sight. So that's going to be 10th round for Expendables. And uh, Signature CSGO have yet to take a round on the CT side, but they're coming up on that first rifle round now, as you can plainly see. And Olivia's going to have the AWP. He's done work with that before. And maybe this is where we're going to see that um, element of restraint, of patience, of thorough scouting coming in from uh, the... Expendables side of things. And just a moment, everyone. I want to close some background processes because uh, I feel as though my computer's making more noise than it should, and yesterday there was an overheat, an overheating issue. So, closing all of my web browsers right now. Hoping that helps. QQ God poking forward. Very aggressive position to be in right now if you're actually a uh, counter-terrorist. Okay, it sounds like it's making less noise than it needs to right now, so that's good. Less strain for the CPU. Disco and Arvino are getting ready to poke out there, but Olivia's on spot with that AWP. If they can take down Olivia, then that's a high-impact kill at this point because you're talking about the Opper, and that's going to be Dan getting pretty lit by a headshot with an M4. They don't manage to take her, her, him down. 
So the upper will stay alive. And there's smoke on site. So now, looks like signature CSGO. I mean, I, after the bomb plant goes down, that, that, that almost ensures a detonation. So now they're going to have to push it forward onto this. They've traded one for one already, but the man lead is there for this for the, uh, the terrorists. But it's been 2-2 two, two now after the exchanges. They're going to... Is that going to be a fake or is it going to be real? Spotted. And now Olivia has to go for either the frag or the defuse. Is there enough time? Oh, boy. I don't think there is. Is there? Is there? Is there? Oh! Just short of it. Just short of it. Olivia gets a very sick 4K. And then just can't follow it up with a defuse. So, nicely done by the Expendables. They, uh... Put down a very nice economic lead. Or... Not even a very nice economic lead, actually. That costed them all five of their players, so... Uh, I do want to erase what I just said there. But I can't. However, they're in a much, much better position right now than uh, our Thailand Titans at the moment. Gee, looking for that first frag. We'll find it. Playing off of the impatience, but Tor knows where his enemy is and is going to abuse that. It's back to four versus four, but HP and firepower advantage is clearly in favor of the terrorist side. So the question is, is that is that something that we can see the CTs work their way back in with? I mean, we've seen some situations where an entire team bought, you know, just armor and uh, an upgraded pistol, and then what happens is one player by mistake purchases an AK, but hold that thought. Whoa, buddy, double kill there. And Tor, you know, getting a triple kill by the end of the round, rather. Three kills altogether. Brings it back to 3-2, so this might be a round that Signature CSGO can work with. The clock is ticking. Three versus two. They have to make this count. That is going to be just Expendables holding their ground. Very nicely done. Back to a full buy coming in from Signature CSGO, and I think this is their second full buy. Yes, yes, it should be. So, um, with that being said, ouch, Tor takes a huge chunk of damage from that AWP shot. Um, with that being said, this is an opportunity for them to, you know, just kind of stop what Expendables has been doing to them, this Reign of Terror. And look, uh, something that I should highlight, rather, is um, I know at the beginning of the last game I said economic lead, but I was dead wrong on that. Uh... If they happen to lose this round, that is to say Expendables, without even getting the bomb planted, they're not going to get too terribly much money off of that. And Olivia has already gotten the opening frag of the round. An AWP player right where he needs to be. And was that... Did I did I see that right? Was that a collateral? Oh my god! Second collateral of the tournament made on the second day. Very nicely done by Olivia. Two versus five. And uh, Signature CSGO is essentially saying at this moment, I would dare you to make this into a miracle round for yourselves. And with that in mind, um, Guy's position has been revealed. They're at least going to try and get the bomb plant down because they, they look at their present situation in terms of finances. That's going to be Giggs getting one frag and now it's actually going to be Disco Potato working with that AWP. Olivia at 26 HP. Cigarettes, I believe, at a long at the moment. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. How could I misread that? Tor is who it was. I keep on... It's bizarre. When their screen names appear in front of you, they have the clan tag in their name, but that's going to be Disco getting another one to his name. When you look at the right-hand side of your screen and read the names, you'll see that the clan tags are not there. So although we do see that Disco Potato gets no money for this round, he will still hold on to that AWP. And now, checking the frags at this moment in time, Disco Potato has been doing work. He's been carrying his team. And he's been working hard for them as well.
<clears throat> Signature CSGO managing to put one win on the round or win one win on the board and with that one win what they've done is they've taken all the money out of the bank of the expendables right now. That's right. These guys need to go to work. Gonna get Jason Statham and Sylvester Stallone and everyone else on board to uh, make sure they get the bank in. And uh, Giggs gonna throw a Molotov followed by a frag and a flash. And this could actually do a lot of damage up at mid. He does get one. However, they are still managing to power their way in. Arvino comes in for the refrag, picks up a rifle on the reload, however, and this is still costing the team a lot of HP. <laughs> Olivia through smoke manages to get Arvino. And it's back to two versus two. HP. Like, HP advantage is there heavily for Signature CSGO. That just basically means we're going to have to um, see Expendables really, really step up the game with the aim battles. Disco. Oh, man. Caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's going to be QQ God landing the bullets he needs to take RB out of this map. So, very nicely done with the retake coming in from Signature CSGO. But they don't have a chance to really get a bank building. Conversely, coming off of Expendables with the following round, I wouldn't be surprised to see a quasi-buy. Upgraded pistol and some armor coming in from RB. He doesn't even hesitate for that, but the rest of the team is a little bit slow to make their uh, purchases themselves. It looks like Guy is going to go with a single flashbang, so... I think this is a one-trick pony coming in from uh, Expendables, at least what I mean to say on this particular round. There's uh, not much room for flexibility. So if there's a mistake coming in from them, they will be in a lot of trouble. I mean, like, they're already in a hot spot right now as it is. Um, but rather what I mean to say here is uh, they don't have too terribly much in the way of wiggle room or flexibility with just a single flashbang grenade on hand. Cigarettes just waiting at mid. Everything is quiet. They haven't heard any footsteps. They haven't heard any uh, utilities until this very moment. And they try to take down Olivia. Managed to land a headshot, but Olivia just dodges and shoots, dodges and shoots. Misses that last shot, but Cigarettes coming in for the reinforcement will keep Olivia alive for just at least a few more minutes. A few more moments, rather. And that's going to be Cigarettes coming in and getting his own double kill. Olivia with his own double and... Uh, Gigs with, uh, I believe that may have been one of the opening frags. So it was a valiant effort coming in from Expendables on the last round, but it, in the end, they just they couldn't even accomplish the bomb plant. Um, full purchase coming in from the Expendables this time. And with that in mind, we can see something to work with. And this is going to be a very critical round to both sides. This could potentially determine who gets to 14 rounds I, I think that Expendables can get the match point if they win this round, and they've already gotten the opening frag of the round onto tour. They're rapidly encroaching upon bomb site B. They're looking for Cigarette's head, and that will be Arby who finds it. It's three versus five now. The question is, what do Signature CSGO have? If they save now, they've got enough money on two players. If with the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Accompaniment of, or procurement of $1,400 should be able to purchase and drop M4s for their teammates. In other words, what I mean to say is Olivia and QQ God will most likely be buying M4s for their teammates and their fallen teammates, and we'll see cigarettes and Tor uh, purchasing armor. Most likely, uh, that's the most likely scenario. I mean to say rather. But uh, Expendables are not going to be getting greedy on this. They actually, they could they could lose a lot here if they're not careful, which is I think why they're not going hunting for the counter terrorists. As you can see, a lot of these guys are close to one shot. Especially RB there, he's at 5 HP. 24 on Disco Potato. A few steps back and RB would have actually been toast. He wouldn't actually be live for, or rather, able to save his finances and thus his weapon. But now Signature at 11 rounds to the 13 of Expendables. They're going to make something of a full purchase this round. The only thing missing is a Kevlar and a, a Kev, excuse me, a, a helmet and a couple of uh, a couple more utilities on tour, and that's about it. Opening shot comes in from Olivia, hits nothing. 
With what we see on the minimap, it's a, like there's a huge hunk of terrorists in uh, mid. We see Giggs getting the opening headshot. Doesn't have too terribly much more information other than there's at least two terrorists at mid. Um, c including the one that he just killed, so that means at least one more. A smoke for mid. CT, rather. Is, could give the air of a B rush. Or it could just be a, uh, a fake. But that's going to be now one. Looking for the second, but Giggs was not able to get it. He was refragged by Dent. RB is going to be pushing in towards mid. The flash being very nicely done, slowing them down. Torque put, pops him through window. And essentially, um, Expendables are in a very difficult position right now. Two versus four. Low HP on key. But Dan will be taking down Olivia. Divided manpower, and it looks like we're going to be having Expendables going with the site that just coincidentally has a little bit more than bomb site A. In fact, right now we're having Tor poking out, but they're going into the site, and that's going to be Tor taking him down to double kill. Very nicely done. And uh, this is going to be at least another buy round coming in for um, Expendables. That's right. They did win a previous round off of a detonation, taking $3,500 per player, not making any armor purchases at best, simply rebuying their utilities. And with that in mind, they've actually been able to capitalize on this situation, um, I'd say fairly well. This is that, that extra 50 cents in the machine that they need to put in. Again, another mid-heavy play coming in from Expendables. This could potentially turn into mid to B or just catwalk into bomb site A. But checking things out now, there's a rotation between the bomb carrier as well as uh, Guy, both going towards A long, and that's going to tip off QQ God a little bit. He could hear some footsteps, which is uh, very important, I think. And uh, without actually being able to observe through Guy's um, perspective, I, you know... He may have possibly thrown a utility or two, but they're making that push now. Olivia misses the flick, and now he's taken down, punished by Arvino with a double kill leading into that bomb site. There's only one person even remotely close to A right now, and that's actually going to be the person who's not here. And it looks like, wait, was that? Well, QQ God held his ground, and now he's in a one versus four situ situation. He's being hunted now, and he's getting surrounded. Difficult position to be in. Does take down one more with him. So it turns it into a, you know, from 1v4 one one to 1v2, but um, economically speaking, you know, it's not looking too terribly pretty for uh, signature CSGO right now. And, I mean, economy really only applies to, potentially speaking, two more rounds for the rest of this map. It could be the next round. I'm sorry, it could be... Uh, God, how do I put this into words? If we see Expendables win this, they're going to be on match point. And then that's just basically no more losses acceptable for Signature CSGO. They have to win four rounds in a row to avoid overtime. And for them to take the map, uh, they'll have to win at least three to extend into overtime. A short, slow push coming in from the Expendables. No rush this time around. But I do feel that, relatively speaking, uh, compared to what we see in Europe and North America, these are some peculiarly short rounds coming in from Expendables. And Signature CSGO. CT flash coming in. Olivia getting land that headshot. Looking for the second. Jumping out of position. However, in the background, we see... Something happening. The defense almost looked real there, but now we're going to have Disco finishing off the remaining counter terrorists at A long. Or rather, long A. Uh, close to hut. Dumpster right now. Olivia, this is... I mean, they get the bomb plant down, but right now as it stands, I don't think Expendables are going to take this round. 
That round took a, a little bit longer than it needed to for, uh, I, it, that, that's a little bit confusing in some ways. But, uh, what happened there was, I think that was Guy at long A. What happened was Guy was trying to just get the cleanup and make sure that uh, this one CT couldn't go back and defuse. And it's an understandable concern, really, because if you don't deal with him, then you're going to get sandwiched by the remaining CTs. But that that is not something I was expecting to see, really. Um, felt a little bit, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not something that you see every day. Bomb is planted and a T is out of position to defend it. But expendables are now on upgraded pistols only, and so this gives signature CSGO... Potentially what you could call some breathing room, but as I say that Dan's not having any of that He's just gonna say you know what the gun the gloves aren't on my hands, but I'm still gonna strangle you With that being said there's very little information for the CTs to work with besides one person with a p250 had taken down uh, gigs at a short it may be playing off of that is what the CTs could be reading into, but the person who's going to have to lead the charge in is on point. It should be, if I'm looking at this correctly. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, going into A short, and the QQ God making the double kill happen just like he should, but uh, the rest of the team managed to stay alive, so all they have to do is really, you know, adopt the new gigs and uh, give, an M give him an M4 and just say, you know what, just uh, keep it clean. Raise it right, and we will do fine this round. Something of a force by now coming in from Expendables as it's 14 to 14. And one thing that I must stress here is that the big difference is in the way of utilities. Signature CSGO um, have, I feel like, much more well-rounded utilities than that of Expendables. Because you can see that on some of the players, we only have one, maybe two flashbangs. Arvino has nothing but an AK-47 and a full set of armor to himself. Olivia manages to get the opening frag of the round. So this is looking somewhat signature favored. And that's going to be Tor getting another. And another. And it looks like this, this is going straight into match point. Uh-oh. Only one player falls for Signature CSGO, so they, they this is going to feel, oh my goodness, I, it, it almost looks like cruise control here, um, that is to say in favor of uh, Signature CSGO, they, they, they fought through hell and back to get where they are right now, if they can take this, I mean, it, it looks like it most likely will be, you know, the worst case scenario, more likely than overtime. But with that being said, Expendables, they're going to have to do very much the same. They're going to have to take this round or they are essentially going to drop this map against Signature CSGO. Three man stack on the A short. And that A long hut, it's gonna be Gi right outside. QQ God is holding his ground right outside of that, but Olivia, I mean, one minute to work with. Well, they're pushing forward. Olivia's down to five HP. Doesn't get taken down just yet, although Blind Gigs gets a triple here. Quad! Whoa! Just stayed common aim, and the ace goes to Gigs! Ho ho ho, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, if you guys are Thailand fans, you guys are probably really enjoying the show right now. So, uh, that's going to end map number one. We're now loading into map number two, Cash. The players are going to need a short break, and so are we, before we dive into this map. And uh, we'd like to thank all of our broadcast partners before we go into that break. That would be G2A, CSGO. I'm sorry, CSGO Lounge, um, Twitch.tv, as well as HL.tv. If you, by the way, if you guys are interested in a uh, skin giveaway, that would be a field tested M4A4 Battlestar. You guys may enter the giveaway by typing exclamation point raffle in chat, then clicking on the uh, the URL that is given to you, the bit.ly URL that is given to you by Nightbot, or you can click on the skin that you see below this stream window on twitch.tv. We'll be back very shortly, guys. Don't go away. <laughs> 